Hi, my name is HTLV. I am a virus, but you probably never heard about me. Maybe you know one more famous cousin of mine, HIV. Hi. We are both retroviruses. We are both transmitted sexually, but I can also cause tumors, mainly lymphoma and leukemia disease. Are, are those viruses talking to each other? They sure are, Rorty. Whoa, I, I didn't know they can do that. Well, this is just a presentation, Rorty. This, it's not real life. Oh, so can they actually cause tumors? Yeah, that's real. HTLV is a real piece of work, Rorty. A real nasty customer. When HDLV enters a human immune cell, it retroactively translates its RNA into DNA and starts producing its key proteins to create more viruses. Its key proteins also transform the cell into a cancer cell, making it divide more, thus also creating more viruses. You see, Rorty, every cell has a biological clock that tells cell when it's time to divide and multiply. This virus blocks the clock, Rorty. So the cell is constantly multiplying. How similar are HDLV and HIV? They are very similar and share similar proteins. The main ones are reverse transcriptase, or RT for short, a protein that translates their RNA into DNA. RT is something all retroviruses have. Proteases, they use them to process their virus polyprotein into functional viral proteins and assemble new viruses. HDLV is something HIV doesn't have. Tax protein. Tax is a key protein that turns the cells into tumor cells. Jeez, Mick, can you give me the simple version? Here, this virus uses tax to block the cell clock. You remember the clock, Rorty? Oh, but that's not all, Rorty. Every cell has a self-destruct mechanism. I bet you didn't know about that. If it turns into a cancer cell, it self-destructs. Oh, th that's great, Mick. Tax can also block the self-destruct mechanism of the cell. By blocking both the cell cycle regulation and the self-destruct regulation, HDLV virus makes it that the tumor cells stay alive and multiply. Whoa, this is bad, Mick. Th th this is awful. Relax, Rorty. There is one really simple solution, Rorty. So, this is how it goes. The virus uses reverse transcriptase, or RT, to translate its gene into DNA. DNA then translates into a huge polyprotein and that uses protease to cut into smaller parts and assemble the new virus for our team. One of those smaller parts is the tax protein that blocks the cell clock and self-destruct mechanism. There are already drugs that block the HIV, RT and protease Rorty, and they also work on HTLV protease and RT. These drugs are called antiretroviral drugs. If you block the protease and RT, tax can't be produced anymore. Rorty, every protein inside the cell has a limited lifetime. If no more tax it is being produced, then slowly tax will decrease. Self-destruct mechanism will activate. Thus, we are decreasing the number of tumor cells by using antiretroviral medicine. We could improve the treatment of the leukemia and lymphoma disease by following these steps. First, run a diagnostic test to see if HDLV virus is present in the body of the patient. Second, run a general reverse transcriptase activity test to see if there might be similar retroviruses. Third step is testing antiretroviral medicine developed to fight HIV virus as the antitumor cure in a process called clinical testing. During this process, the antiretrovirals, such as RT and protease inhibitors, would be used to treat lymphoma instead of the classic chemotherapy. This should especially apply in cases where HDLV or other retroviral activity is proven to exist. If this step is successful, then we have made a very deadly disease less deadly. Thank you for your time.